Hey guys, welcome to another video and this is episode 4 of the Ramadan Diaries and today I'm with my sister. Hey guys. And we're going to be talking about how we study while fasting because we need it's to a struggle. struggle. It's a struggle and gals have their academic sides of their life and yeah. we have to value that and optimize our time and make sure that we're using it in the most efficient possible way. We just pulled out the mic because I don't know if the audio is going to be good. And yeah, so I feel like one of the biggest things that made me um, have the better study sessions while fasting is waking up for suhoor and having a nutritious meal. Because um, I know some people like they just skip suhoor and like, oh yeah, they can do it, whatever. But Because we used to be like that. Because we used to be like that. <laughs> That thing sounds a bit too close. What was that? It sounded like a, a chicken. Oh my god. So, um, because I know us, when we were younger, our mom would literally bring us bowls of cereal to our bed. And we would we would not even stay up to pray. We would just go back to sleep right away, which is not okay. Don't do that. Um, but right now, we really see that not only are you able to get a nutritious meal when you wake up for food, but that time has so much barakah and allah will literally make it help for yeah he will make it easier for you for the fast and just make make it easier for you help you with what whatever you want to do while in your fasted state which is a blessing so yeah um what we really really love to make is we really value protein and fat for our food and then exi- not really fat sometimes but because that gives you energy you yeah. it keeps you full and, yeah. it, and it gives you energy fats, fats are like carbs for your body yeah and your body thrives off that and i know like there's like this dilemma around oh my god stay away from carbs stay away from fat but it's actually very good for you and needed for your energy levels and all that so um some meal ideas that me and my sister really love are yogurt bowls like we found that yogurt bowls keep us the most right sa- me too <laughs> yogurt bowls keep us the most satiated and i will insert some pictures on how we make it and how it looks like and the recipe because and the recipe will be in the description thing. yes um but we make sure to add um, like almond butter in, in our bowls for that extra um, fat, um, which will also keep us more satiated. And yogurt has a lot, a lot, a lot of protein. So, and it's a very easy, it's very easy to get in because whereas if you eat an egg, one egg has like what, six grams of protein? Yeah. But a whole yogurt bowl has 18 grams. So would you rather eat like four eggs or a yogurt bowl? Oh, well, I was not aware that it was 18. That's a lot. Yeah, 18 grams of protein, which is crazy. Greek yogurt, guys. Don't and it's literally, on. it's it's just a a tub of yogurt in Telega. Or in the refrigerator. <laughs> in the telega. <laughs> you just take it My out and you put it in your, in, your, in your plate. It's not like you have to cook. Or yeah, eggs. it's very fast, efficient. Fast, and I don't does, know. It gets the job done. Yeah, and I think we've been eating stuff. that like, both, like for two months now, mm, every single day. Yeah. Never, I never got tired of it still. Yeah. Never. Yeah. I know it's coming though. So what we do is we put like blueberries. Like we have like wild frozen blueberries from Costco. The Costco brand is the best because they're nice and big and like they like you pop, pop in your mouth like boba. Like boba. So um, we get our wild frozen blueberries from Costco and we microwave organic. them. Organic. Organic. We microwave them and not too much. Um, if you guys want the details, I'll make sure to do a whole separate video on what I eat in a day um, while fasting. But. Yeah, we just get the frozen blueberries, we put them in the microwave, and then once they're a little bit melted, we add the yogurt. Almond extract in the yogurt, guys. Or vanilla. Literally. Vanilla tastes really good, and it makes almond like extract a, is a vanilla yogurt. Huh? Yeah, vanilla. But almond extract will literally, like, it literally tastes like you're eating ice cream. It gives, like, this nutty pistachio flavor. Oh my god, I'm, yeah, I'm literally so, so yummy. Yeah. But... Um, so that's the meal that we eat for food. If it's not yogurt, which it usually is, we would just do like eggs or we do like two eggs, maybe like an avocado toast. I haven't really ate avocado toast, but my sister has. Um, how does that make you feel? Amazing. Yeah, because so avocado has a lot of fat in it. It has a lot of nutrients too. <laughs> it tastes amazing. Yeah. Put some fat on top, you're yeah. good to go. Yeah, you guys really have to like prioritize fat. I know we keep saying that, but like yeah. cheese... Bro, um, literally, when I eat that, I'm like, I'm like, I can literally do anything right now. Yeah, it gives you so much energy. Yeah. Um, so for like for like a long time. Yeah. So that's the food. That's one of the little tips we have for optimizing studying. Um, make sure you're waking up. And as I said, when you wake up, this allows you to pray fajr on time, 
and there's baraka in that time and you're you're giving nutrients to your body you build up the habit of waking up every day for a fudge exactly even which after you will Ramadan's carry, over yeah which will, you will carry oh, after yeah. Ramadan yeah another tip that we really 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 <coughs> value for studying and just like optimizing brain clarity I mean, brain clarity mental clarity whatever um is taking naps like me and my sister we never took naps like we would be in school waking up from 8 a.m and literally studying till nighttime with no nap and we would wonder why we were so tired and then when ramadan started we're like okay we we're gonna try this out and we so what we do is we wake up for some food and then we go to the gym like maybe 30 minutes after just so that there's a little digestion that happens not even the di digestion just like it's kind of giving autopilot mode when you're yeah. just eating suhoor and then get dressed right yeah. after. Like, it's chill. Just, yeah, read some Quran, read Surah Yasin. Yeah. But, so we do suhoor and then we wake up for the gym. And then when we come back from the gym, that's when we take our nap. We take like a two-hour two hour nap until the time. And guys, wait, I have to say this because when you go to the gym and you do a good workout, you lift and do a good workout, something that gets you a little bit sore, your nap is going to be better. Because when you have worked yourself, and you sleep it's so much more fulfilling than if you did nothing all day uh, hypothetically and then you sleep because your body is it needs that recovery so you just wake up feeling that you slept for like six hours exactly and it was like two or three so underrated we used to not do this in the previous ramadans and it's one of our biggest biggest regrets. yeah we, we started implementing this is like a new thing in our life yeah um but we found that when we wake up from this two to three hour nap we feel so different like replenish, i don't even know how to energize. explain it like we feel like we can do anything and that's mainly when we would do like our our hardcore studying after our nap yeah. um but i know that some people do it right after food like our yeah. gym time they replace it with studying mm -hmm. which i also it's I another like option to get some movement in after eating. yeah i don't know like because i feel like if you do end up like like you eat and then you're studying you're just sitting for two hours right after your meal that just doesn't sit right with me and then after you're studying you're probably gonna want to sleep again again no movement so i feel like what we do makes the most sense yeah um but yeah so naps life changer and i know we talked about going to the gym but i really want to put an emphasis on this so when we go to the gym after our food like 30 minutes to 45 minutes after our food this really allows us to get some movement in move our body and we just found that we feel the most active after our naps when we go to the gym. We feel most the most active. We have the most energy to really take on um, tasks, studying, yeah. cleaning, whatever it may be that, that would typically drain you. We have more energy for that. So, And it doesn't even have to be like a hardcore workout. Like me and my sister, we, we like lifting sometimes and we end that with cardio. But just as long as you're moving your body and doing some type of movement, like you will definitely see a, a shift in your mental clarity and how um you feel when you're studying when you're trying to get a task done yeah. um for sure so going to the gym really like you guys should really people think that in the month of ramadan like you have to sacrifice your your physique that you've built up leading up to ramadan and then like um what do they call it um i don't know what they call it but they they seen a dip in their physique and now they want to build it back up it's like a, a comeback after ramadan but you don't have to you know you, you can find it's all about writing down your schedule or typing it up whatever you want to do because if you do that you're gonna you're gonna feel like you have the most time in the world because it all just you're just following a list you're gonna get it all done mm -hmm. as long as you allocate the times for it you're gonna get it done if you just if you just are are praying suhoor and then sleeping and then waking up and like let's let, let's just tackle this day you're gonna you're but at the end of the year you're like <laughs> you're gonna know that you're not gonna have the feeling of like i did so much today yeah it's just gonna be like it's just gonna be like i just i just did what i did today yeah. and you did a lot but you don't it doesn't feel like it because yeah. you feel so you feel so high in energy you feel like you just feel like ready you know what i'm yeah. saying like and then again if you if you were um oh you just lost my train of thought <laughs> it's okay but yeah if you are writing down your schedule you're just gonna be more busy i.e you're not gonna think about food because last ramadan we used to be so hungry and miserable 
I don't know if you want to cut that out, but <laughs> because this Ramadan is like actually so enjoyable. Like I'm thinking about the end of it, and I get so sad. Wallahi, like yeah, I don't want Ramadan yeah, to end. I really don't. I just love this, this the life. Yeah, like how it is. So I hope you guys take these tips that we had gave you and use them to your ability because we really see a shift in our approach to Ramadan. And obviously, Ramadan is about your ibadah and your closeness and to Allah. But all these things help you with that because they give you energy and they make you want to do things. So mm -hmm. it all it all starts with the steps to get closer. Yeah. And on the topic of what you're gonna break your fast with for iftar, we talked about suhoor. Now we have to talk about iftar. If you're breaking your fast with pizza, I hope this goes without saying. Please have any. I'm not saying don't eat pizza. I'm not saying don't eat uh, sweets. Break your fast with a, a meal you know has minerals nutrition um fiber all the all the things make sure and then one to one one hour later or not even 30 minutes later whatever you want whenever you're craving something make it mm -hmm. people break their fast with i kid you not cereal sugary processed cereal literally sugar and milk that's what you guys are eating stop processed but things from costco chips yeah, I hope. I hope. And I really guys, hope really watch this. out for the veg for the vegetable oils and the yeah. and the um, Th seed oils because those are gonna kill you literally mm -hmm. from the inside and out. But um, <laughs> those are the extreme. <laughs> they're gonna kill you, <laughs> guys. They're gonna kill you. Okay, eventually. Yes. Um, what's it called? We lit. We we're around a Desi community where for if the, we go to the masjid to break our fast, of course, and they're Desi. So guys, what do they have for iftar? They have biryani packed with oils nahari nahari packed with you know all the oils they're just you very they those. use a lot of oil it's you in, a, it's in their culture those, but i would not break, break your my fast, fast with that, that because don't. imagine how shocking that is to you're your body you're just gonna like, inflame your organs yeah That's you're just asking for that so yeah make sure you guys are like really putting some thought into the meals that you eat because they will have an impact on your mental clarity yeah brain um, fog brain fog is real Brain fog you're just gonna feel like you can't think yes and, and during we've exam all season, that during, during exam season you don't want that yeah during exam season you guys know the exam season is coming up you soon. need that clarity you need that so and lastly what i want to talk about is electrolytes um i know there's so many good electrolyte brand brands out there but if you want to save yourself the research and just finding the perfect one guys literally the key get water put a dash of salt and squeeze some lemon and you're good electrolytes are really important because they make sure that your body is actually retaining the water and you're not actually like releasing it in the bathroom so we need that because i feel like there's this connotation like oh my god you have to chug water in ramadan like chug it so that you're you're, st you're staying hydrated but guys you guys don't understand that when you chug water you're literally going to go to the bathroom and release it right away because you drink so fast whereas if you put electrolytes in your water and salt. you drink salt and lemon and you drink in a in a moderate pace you're not chugging why would you chug relax <laughs> and you're drinking in a um moderate pace your body will literally hold on to that water and you will just feel so replenished during the day you won't feel dehydrated you guys know when your throat gets dry back there that's the worst feeling you don't feel that when you put that electrolyte in your water yeah and you're fasting for what 14 15 16 hours somewhere some 14 15 16 hours even some places even more than that you're stripping your body of the minerals and nutrients it needs that it doesn't naturally make you need to be taking <clears throat> vitamins but especially electrolytes are gonna are gonna replenish the hydration that you've lost they're gonna they're gonna make you they're gonna give your cells um food basically yes so that is the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i i really hope you guys do take these tips because they really changed the game for us let me know if you guys want to see a what i eat um in a day while fasting because i think those, that would be really helpful for you guys just seeing how i do the meals but nonetheless i will put the recipe to the yogurt bowl in the description and i'll also and i sure hope that you guys make it because it's like a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 100 out of 10 and I'll also be sure to put images on on how it looks because I know by just how it looks you guys are going to want to make it. It is yummy. And it's so okay. pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.